Hey guys, Super Mario Knight 7227 here, and I just wanted to say that this is um, the video for Monday. There will be no Five Nights at Freddy's this week because uh, my video got blocked in all countries because for literally like 30 seconds I used a clip of Michael Jackson as a raisin from a raisin commercial, which I left in the beginning of that that I didn't get copyrighted on just to show that hey, there was a joke. Um, and Sony took it down, so thanks, Sony. Anyway, thank you guys. Just wanted to let you guys know that this will be the uh, only video for Friday. Sorry. Okay. Five Nights at Freddy's will resume next week. All right. All right. Bye. Also, check out the extras channels. Um, coming up a couple weeks and uh, like a, a week ish. I've got a project I'm doing in class and I'm making a video and it was about like cardiovascular, respiratory health and safety and stuff. And I'm gonna put some bloopers and some funny stuff in there. All right. All right. Check out the extras channel. See ya. Hey guys, CP here. Hey, sorry guys. Super Mario Knight Seven here, and today, welcome to not my room. Woo! I'm actually at my grandma's house, uh, in the middle of the woods, in a cabin in the woods. Woo! No. Uh, I'm at my grandma's house, and we're doing a video here. As you can see, we've got a buttload of games that I have taken from my room and brought here, even though I don't have an Xbox here. So I'm just going to be showing you some of my, all my games. Uh, this is an idea that I thought of myself. I call it the stash. Alright, let's get to it. We've got a, a bunch of different consoles. Um, enough said, let's do this. Alright, first up on our list is Star Wars The Complete Saga. This is an Xbox 360 Platinum hit. Uh, I have completed this game. It's all six, well, six parts. The first six parts of Star Wars, not including the new one. Hopefully they're going to make that. Um, this is a good game. Uh, I remember it. Remember the uh, free play mode or thing where you have to go around getting gold bricks? That was cool. There we go. This is the uh, thing. This is going to pile up over my head soon. Oh, the Lego movie. Or Lego. Um, this is Xbox 360. This is a okay game. I mean, I think the game mechanics were a little... Eh, the whole switching character thing, that's a new... It's more like LEGO Dimensions. This is a recent one. It's basically the LEGO movie, but in video game. I mean, if you like the LEGO movie, then this, that's, that's the game for you. Mm. See if you can tell what this is. This is actually Ghostbusters for the Xbox. Uh, as you can see. See? It's a GameStop box, because I got it from GameStop. Um, also, I have, here we go, also, got it for DS, but we'll be talking about that later. It's just, sorry, my grandmother is pounding a chicka, 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 oh, ah, oh, pounding chicken in the other room for dinner tonight. We even have it. Chicken cutlets. Ha, ah, you're all jelly. Um, ah, sorry. <laughs> Chopping things. Uh, yes, this is a trade table. But this was a good game. I did beat this as well. I also beat the Lego movie. If you like Ghostbusters, this is a thing for you. If you like uh, missions where you giant spiders, that's also pretty cool. I uh, give it a good rating. It's rated T for teen, but a lot of these on here are rated T for teen, but they're really stupid. Really rated. Oh! Here's a game, Back to the Future, the video game, 30th Anniversary Edition, Xbox 360 again. Um, that's wrong. It says hard drive required, but it doesn't. This game, oh my god. I had, this is my second copy, because my first copy, I had my Xbox standing up, and it I kicked it over accidentally while the game was playing inside of it, and it, uh, perfect circle ring, uh, burn, ah! Perfect circle ring, burn thing, yeah. So I had to buy a new one. Woo! Thanks, um, freaking Microsoft. And I 
like, this is a good game. I recently beat this. I was going to do a playthrough of it, but no. Oh, excuse me. It was a very nice gift. Um, oh, excuse me. I think this is a really good game for not only just Back to the Future fans, but fans of Time Machine stuff. Okay. Ha. We're down. All of these to go. Plants vs. Zombies. Xbox 360. Uh, if you can see here, it includes two bonus games, Peggle and Zuma. Um, oh, we have a guest. Hi. It's alright. It's become a joke. Um, as you can see, it comes with two games, two extra games. I think I already said this. Alright, next up, we got Plants vs. Zombies for the Xbox 360. Jugger nuggets. Die zombie. <gasps> oh. Um. Sorry. This is Plants vs Zombies, and it comes with two additional games, which are Peggle and Zuma. Uh, this game. It's Plants vs Zombies for the Xbox. It's not bad. It's Relatively good game. Uh, I never, I suck at it. I beat it on my uh, my phone. I have not beat it here, so that's something I gotta do in the future. Hey, that's a possible game that we can do. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, GTA 5. This is the first uh, GTA game that I've got. It is M rated. It's for Xbox 360. I, you guys already know what GTA 5 is. It's, it's GTA Mode 5. There we go. GTA 4. I, this is the newest one I got, the last, the latest one that I got. I got them uh, five, and then I got San Andreas, and then I got four. This is a good game. Um, I mean, I wish it had a little more customizability, but, eh, I mean, it's still a good game. I'm not going to say it's not. I like it. Uh, I like the front cover here, and these letters, I just realized look like they kind of stick out. I don't know if that's on this one too. No, it's not on this one. That's on this one only. Yeah. Out of all the ones I have, this... Oh, it's it's literally raised letters. That's why. Well, there's GTA 4. Uh, ah! Here's the last one I have. This is uh, GTA 5 San Andreas. This is a good game. I've got not very far in it yet. But as you can see... The cover, it's going with the classic GTA um, covers. It's a Platinum Hits bestseller. Oh, this game. I've got some high things to say about this game. Well, not this one. This we have, this came with my <laughs> with my Xbox. If you guys don't know, oh, the camera's about to say. If you guys don't know, my Xbox actually, there was a whole thing. I'll probably talk about it in another video. Uh, I'll just call it the, um, what am I going to call this? Xbox Guts story, but uh, we got here Viva Pinata. It's a Xbox 360 Platinum hit. All the gray cases are Platinum hits. This I hate this game, but don't buy this. If you buy this, you are dead to me. But on the back side is my favorite Xbox 360 game in the whole world. Um, personally, I like uh, it's a Platinum hits. Uh, greatest concern. It's a Xbox 360 exclusive. Made by Rareware, the original company that made the other the Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie. Um, I know JonTron, and because I watched JonTron, uh, had some nice things to say about it. Quotes on quote unquote thing. Why are there? There's online multiplayer. For chicken for Viva Pinata. But uh, no, I do like this game personally. I love. Um, just driving around messing with stuff. This is a good game for me. I've never had any of the any any of the other banjo uh, games in the banjo kazooie line. I'm actually thinking about getting some of those, but if they have them on disc or just buying them for the uh, from the Xbox game store. Yeah, this is a very good game. Five out of all, actually all the million out of five. This I don't like this game. This is Call of Duty Two. Um, this is the only Call of Duty game I have. Call of Duty. It's Call... Call of Duty. It's COD. This is COD 2, the, the sequel to the original. 
Um, just shooting. I mean, Call of Duty. Same thing. Oh. No other people have done it before. Uh, then we got Namco Museum Virtual Arcade. This. I'll show you the cover here. This has games like Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Galago Legends, Mr. Driller Online. Hi, Grampy. My, grandparent, my grandfather just got home. Hi. Good, hi. Good. I know you're recording, so... It's okay. Alright? Say hi. How you doing? How are you? Grampy. Where's Jay? Uh, we don't care about him on this show. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was my grandfather. He's pretty cool. He's the one that cut his finger open and didn't die. He's awesome. He's from Canada. <laughs> um, we also have Mrs. Pac-Man, Dig Dug, right back to where I was going. What's that say? X view, X view, X view. I mean. Pronunciation equals. Uh, oh, that's all the Xbox 360 games. Just push them off to the side here. Uh, now let's go on to Wii games. Um, as you can see, one of these things is not like the other. There we go. So we're just gonna make a new pile. At the end, we're not gonna be able to see. That's the goal. Uh, oh, here we go. Indiana Jones, the original adventure. This is all, or the first three Indiana Jones games all wrapped up into Lego. As you, I have a lot of Lego games, so I like Lego. Um, this is everybody, okay, in, uh, words, Lucas, LucasArts. I didn't know LucasArts did freaking Indiana Jones. Oh. Uh, anyway, I mean, Han Solo is in freaking that guy. Han Solo and Indiana Jones are the same guy, which is Harrison Ford. I knew his name. This is a Wii game. Classic Wii. I don't have Wii U. I, I, don't, I don't do that kind of stuff. But, ta-da! Wii game. Woo! Yay! It's a Lego game. I like it. If you like Indiana Jones, buy it. Um, Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4 for Wii. I do not have 5 through 7 for Wii. I have it for Jason, sorry, has it for 3DS. I only have 3DS, but normal DS. I have 2DS. I have 2 of the DS. I have a broken one, and I'll get to that later. There we go. That thing, Harry Potter, is a cool thing. I like Harry Potter, so I bought it. Ah, oh, this game is heavy. Why is oh bonus game? Wii Sports. You have no choice. You have to buy this. Uh, Mario Kart Wii. My Mario Kart no longer works, but I love it. I got this for my birthday when I turned ten with the Wii. I think it was it with the Wii. I think it was with the Wii. This was a this is was and is and will always be a great Wii game. This is my favorite Wii game. Other than uh, this last video uh, Wii game we're gonna do, it's on the bottom. You can kind of maybe already see it. So I've got if I could pick, I'm gonna pick two favorite games. I already know my two favorite for DS. Uh, my favorite, my first favorite for Xbox would be uh, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. My second would be Back to the Future the game because that was freaking awesome. My first would be, well, my second would be Mario Kart Wii. My first one is actually on the bottom, that's funny. My first Mario game, my absolute first Mario game, Super Paper Mario Wii. That was my friggin' back in third grade, I dressed up as Mario. This is, this is my Mario, this is my Mario game. This is, this, this is mine, this is mine, not yours. This is my third favorite, at least. I remember everyone in my family had a... It, it's Redbox! You can order movies and yeah, New Super Mario Bros. No, this is New Super Mario Brothers for the Wii. Obviously, it's the Red Box. The red, red, red Box. Oh, this isn't mine. I mean, it's mine, but it's not mine. Let me elaborate here. that feeling. This is Mario Gal. Oh my god. First of all, this thing is screwed up. Ooh, there's a code. I'm gonna make it sure that's okay. Look at Mario. And the disc. It looks freaking demonic. Uh, we've got Super Mario Galaxy. This is Jason's. It's um, 
I never really liked it. If you want to play two player, it is two player, but the second player just takes the Wii remote and shoots all the little stars and gets money. Uh, oh yeah, awesome. Disney Infinity. This is also for the Wii. Disney Infinity. It's a good game. It's like Lego Dimensions, but the original. I actually call Lego Dimensions um, Lego Disney Infinity because I'm stupid. Let's get people. Deal or frigging no deal. This, this is just like the show. If you like the show with Howie Mandel, I knew his name. Uh, I should know this. Oh, why don't I know this? Uh, Howie Mandel, we're gonna go with that. If you like to show Howie Mandel, this is what you get. This was actually here for the longest time. SpongeBob's Atlantis Square Pantas. Bro. This thing was awesome. Except for the one where you have to like match the song, we have to play the song. That level sucks. Uh, not a pretty good game. Much of oh, Mega Mind, Mega Team Unite. I don't remember this game. Obviously, I do because I have the DS as well. Which actually, on the back of the on the back of the thing, it says DS game. I don't have that with me because that's Jason's game. We both had one a long time, but uh, long gone now. Uh, you draw studios. It's just a pad where you draw stuff. Carnival game. This was here. Again, these was this was we gotta analyze the last game. This game was here for the longest this is actually not mine. This is my grandparents. I'm gonna keep this here. I don't know. I'll keep it here. No, I'll, I'll rubber it there. Carnival games, it's like um Hit the Oh god, words are great. This game is about carnival games, you know, like the little carny prizes. In this game, I need to literally doesn't. Hang on. It says it includes something that it doesn't. Like a game. Alright. This is kind of a rip off. But this is Michael Jackson The Experience. Comes with a glove, which it didn't. I have a glove, but it didn't come with a glove. Uh, this game is a Michael Jackson dance thing. Uh, I, Billy Jean, I can do love the Billy Jean. Uh, unfortunately, my brother actually is better at me than this, and he hates Michael Jackson, so that's kind of funny. But this, I gotta rate this. Uh, five out of five for all of it. It's amazing. Okay. It's an amazing game. All right, push. Made that joke right. And we've got, ah. Come back over here. I'm not smart. Um, we've got eight. Actually, before we start, what's the? What's that, guys? Oh. Ah! Let me not break everything. Um, got my old DS. I say old because I bought a new one. That's why I said I have two DSs. Uh, here we go. This is I actually reached. I just recently changed the name on the front. This is my classic DS, my original one. Super Mario 9727. It said a bunch of stuff on here, like Steven, King of Tape, all my other names. Uh, that's what I, that's the original thing. But unfortunately, the this cracked, and the R and B button, R and B, R and L buttons were not working correctly. Uh, I had to rebuy. We had to buy a bunch of other things because I lost my thing. Oh, and that this DS over here came ah, came with this. It did not come with this, and this one had it. I can't get this out now. I want to break it. Ah, oh. it's literally not coming out. Look at that. I don't know. Someone stick a raisin in here. I don't know. Raisin would probably do it, but no, I got it's gonna, this. Was what it looked like on the inside. I actually read it. I just fixed this up a while ago. Oh shoot! Uh, yeah. Just want to show you that because that's my DS that I've played most of these games on. I started playing most of these games on, except for two of them. Two of them: um, Ghostbusters and Drawn to Life, the next chapter. Well, I played the first chapter on it technically. 
Um, we've got eight games left and then a couple other ones. Here we've got Best of E3, Cooking Mama for the DS. I'm pretty good at this game because I'm Mama and I cook. Let's cook, Jesse. No. Let's cook, Jesse. <laughs> Slow that down, please, Steven. Um, anyway, it's cooking mommy. You want to cook and get the pound of chicken like my grandmother? Okay, then. Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Do not get this game. Or, I mean, if you're good at R.I. It's like Undertale. It's like Undertale. Which is an awesome game for the computer. Oh, I might go over some of my computer games. I don't have anything on my computer. Eh, it's fine. This, I suck at it. I suck so bad. So if you like RPGs, MMOs, yeah, okay. This game never worked for me. This game, I put it in and it breaks. It just gets to the part where you go to stop Bowser and you go and he sucks you into his mouth, and then it just stops. Ooh. So I can't really give a thing. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Winter Games. I can, in fact. Oh wow. It's getting tall. Ooh. I can, in fact, give you a really good review of this game. Um, snowboarding, I was really good at snowboarding. Um, I think I was really good at bobsledding. I don't think so, actually. I don't know, I remember this game, it was very good. That's my second favorite game out of all of these. Actually, my third favorite's coming up. Ah, shoot, I have four favorites on this. Uh, screw This is Zuzu, where will you Zuzu Zuzu? Wow, Zuzu Pets. For the DS, I don't even know. I, I don't know. I got this when I was little, apparently. Actually, I know I did. Uh, they have Drawn to Life. This is my, um, one of my favorite games. Um, it is no longer my favorite game because I have the second one, Drawn to Life 2. Or sorry, Drawn to Life the next chapter. That is my new favorite game. This is a good game. It's drawn, it's like Scribble Knots, but it's a lot better. No offense to all you Scribblenauts fans. Uh, this is my favorite, Thrillville. Uh, one of my favorite games other than Drawn to Life. Mine is Drawn to Life. This is my favorite game. Uh, it's not much in it. You make, you make a roller coaster park and you upkeep all the things. It's not really, actually no, it's not really my favorite. It's the one that I played the most. Sequel to the number one original family game of 26. This is actually Thrillville off the rails. I'm sorry. Uh, we've got Ghostbusters, which I mentioned previously. Uh, same goes for this, except for DS. Except there's no new character, it's all different. Yeah. Uh, Drawn to Life, the next chapter. This is my favorite game of right now. Jibay, everywhere Jibay. Uh, and yeah. It's really good, it's like the sequel. Uh, we've got some, and then we've got a DS case. And this DS case is full of GBA games. Because ah! if you guys don't know, I did have the GBA. All right, now we've got three games in here that didn't have cases. Uh, we've got that you know that came in like that we got them at the tag sale or whatever. Nintendo DS, uh, Battleship, sorry, all that kind of stuff. War games, I guess you could call it. Mario Mario Kart DS. Oh, that was a good game. Um and what's this one? This is Quest for This one's Quest for Zoo. It's literally another Zuzu Pet game. What the frig was I into when I was little? <laughs> Other than Mario, obviously. Um, now we're just gonna go down the line of all the games that I've got here for my old GBA. I had an original Game Boy Advance and I had a, a Game Boy. Oh no, these are... I had a Game Boy Advance and a Game Boy Advance SP. Yeah, alright, we're gonna go down. Crash Bandicoot. I did not have this game. Uh, Crash Bandicoot Entranced. Entranced. This was not mine, this was Jason's. Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, which I always keep in the um, box for Mario & Luigi Partners in Time, because look, it looks like it. Side-by-side -side comparison, if I remember. Namco Museum. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't realize I had that. This Namco Museum right there. I've got a dupe game for a different console. Super Mario World, uh, Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2. Super Mario World, Super Mario Advance 2, alright. Uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong. This is a new... I thought it said M. That's a P. This is that. We've got SpongeBob. Oh, wow. Oh! Got 
the SpongeBob SquarePants movie game, which I think is basically. Oh wow. Hmm. Mario and Don Mario vs. Donkey Kong, different one. Oh wow, wow. Mario Kart Super Circuit and uh, THQ release of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Hmm. Uh, I have no words. I have no words. That was a lot of games. Uh, the sun's going down actually. Yay! Connecticut winter. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, out of all of those, my favorites are actually. Which ones do I remember? I remember Mario and Don Mario versus Donkey Kong. I remember that. I played that at so many of my brother's old baseball games and Mario Super Circuit. Those are my two favorite games for the. Uh, I almost said NES. You know, if I could open the freaking thing, how do I get this unstuck? What is stuck in there? Is that a raisin? Do raisins can get stuck in things, right? Kind of. I don't. Science. Um, but anyways, uh, actually, I'll give you a look at the Drawn to Life, the next chapter card, because I just took five ideas. Ah, there you go. And there's the other three cards in there that I mentioned before. Woo! Actually, I'll just do it. Anyway. But thank you guys for watching. Oh, wait. No, I have to do something else. Uh, we're gonna go over a few of my computer games that I have been playing recently. Minecraft, uh... Minecraft Five Nights, which I just beat five, uh, five, four, night four, words, okay. Minecraft, Five Nights at Freddy's, all four of them, those are, I'm gonna play them eventually. I played the first one, I'm gonna work on it. Um, Unturned, good game, that's every Wednesday so far. Uh, I was playing Moonbase Alpha, we were gonna do that with Jeremy, uh, Gem56, but I decided not because they broke. And then Gary's mod. I got Gary's mod, guys. Um, me and Jason have been playing some sandblock. Sand, sandbox. Let me learn English real quick. Uh, we were playing some sandbox uh, on this world GM fork. Uh, it's on the top rated. Yes, it's on top rated in the add-ons under maps. Go get it. It's awesome. Also get Dr. Matt's TARDIS, uh, TARDIS rewrite, and the Sonic Screwdriver. Those are really good. Actually, don't get the rewrite. They're still working on that. Just get Dr. Matt's TARDIS and Dr. Matt's Sonic Screwdriver. Uh, pull up the wiki for the Sonic Screwdriver. No, the Steam page for the Sonic Screwdriver. Learn all the things in Dr. Who fan. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Uh, that, was just the game. that and Undertale. I want to play Undertale. I want to play Undertale, but it, it can't. It's other YouTubers play it. Screw all of you YouTubers. So, uh, yeah. That's been the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, punch that like button in the face like boss and high fives all around. Thank you guys and I'll see how you do in the next video! I accidentally went into Jack's epic. Speaking of Undertale, no guys, um, thank you guys for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting, disliking, all that stuff, and I'll see you later. Bye guys! Now I gotta go around! <laughs> That's the reason I took this out of my DS and didn't drop it. Now you guys know. Bye. Oh, one more thing. I was cleaning up and I noticed these two bootleg games that, uh, thing. But it's called R4 Revolution for DS. Mm. It, one of these worked and one of these, well, didn't really work, but this one's called R4 Revolutionary for DS. Bootleg. Bye.